What's the deal? What's the deal with relationships? <laughs> Look around your world, pretty baby. Is it everything you hoped it would be? So I'm a junior at Northwestern. And from my experience thus far, um, I feel like the dating scene is non-existent. I feel like the only way people truly will meet guys um, is maybe they live in a dorm with them or they hook up with them drunk at night. Some people have like a real hard time finding someone that they're interested in or even like being interested in dating at all and they just complain about it. And I tried dating Northwestern guys and I would have like flings with guys. I'd hook up with guys for like months at a time. but. I never ever got taken on a date by a Northwestern guy. Not a lot of people like at Northwestern are willing to sort of like sacrifice the time and the energy that it takes to have a relationship. They tend to stay in their dorms or in their library studying and people who do get out there go to a party and then hook up. Um, it's really frustrating to find people who aren't interested in actually dating when you are. I'm actually going the less normal way on this one. My girlfriend is in Spain right now. So we kind of tend to stick to the Skype and um, the IM. But she's coming back next quarter, and I can't wait for her to get home. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that um, if I can make it this far while she's abroad apart. That Tell them about the ring you bought her. <laughs> I've only been on one date, and that was actually with someone who's get, turned out to be gay. So that's been my experience with dating so far. I got taken out by a gay guy. That's okay, it was fun, but... It just takes a ton of little girl in the middle of that for a ride. Everything, everything will be just fine. Everything, everything will be alright, alright. Like, I would categorize those Western girls into, into two groups. The really nerdy ones, and the sorority girls. Honestly, because I think those are the only two like types of girls, honestly, in Northwestern. You got the ones who really go out and party, and you got the other ones who'd like to go study, you know? And me, for a person like me, I am turned off by both of them, by both types of those. Yeah, a lot of the girls at this school kind of complain about the quality of guys or that they're too weird or they're creepy. I'm actually really mad at people who say that the dating scene at Northwestern is bad or that the guys are bad or the girls aren't pretty enough or this and that because I mean, I know girls who are gorgeous. They are, you know, they win fashion, they're in fashion magazines. I mean, people say that the men at this school are very not good looking, but I think it's a lot of the girls aren't very good looking. Honestly, the, the thing I really like about Northwestern girls is that most of them are not fat, all right? Most, the, the, there are a lot of good looking ones, right? It's just that you gotta get past their personality in order, in order because, I mean, honestly, they're just good looking. I feel like most of them either lack a personality or make up, a, make up a, an alcohol personality, per se. You know, I'd say for as many weird dudes as there are, there's just as many weird girls out there at Northwestern. I think the best looking girls on this campus have boyfriends at home. Or, or, or they get picked up real quickly by the guys on campus and everyone else is just kind of left to match and try to figure out for themselves. I think it's just an overall like dissatisfaction with everybody. The guys are dissatisfied with the girls. The girls are dissatisfied with the guys. But they don't really Nobody know what's can out decide. there. It's sort of like, they're very attractive guys yeah. at Northwestern. You might have to look for your type or, you know, your type of boy or girl, but it's like, they're out there. We go to a school of 8,000 people and like, yes, 50% of them don't go out. <laughs> but like, from 50% of 8,000, you still have 4,000 people yeah. to like, look for and choose from and like yeah I know there's the whole like Northwestern 500 and like that's how big our immediate social circle is if you're in a top frat, a top sports team, a top sorority and it's sort of like well you, you make an effort with those people because out of 500 people that's so I guarantee you you will find one person that you can enjoy being around. <laughs> I really like the kind of people I've met here and the men are very interesting. I think they're very, they're a lot more driven um, as far as, you know, career and academics than probably other state schools. Well, yeah, I just do, I just do feel that there are some girls here that are extremely stuck up and it's, pro it's probably not their fault. I think it's just a, 
an effect of their their circumstance. That sort of like shuts them off. Like they don't really realize it, but when a girl acts like that, it doesn't make her like more desirable. It kind of just makes people be like, all right, well, I'm just not going to associate myself with them. Yeah. I feel like they're the girls are closing themselves off to the prospect of going on a good date. I think that a lot of girls at Northwestern, when they're in the Greek scene, especially in like our sorority and mm -hmm. other similar sororities, they only look for guys who are in the same social circle as us. I just think that girls need to be confident to put themselves out there as the person that they are. If you want to text a guy, text a guy. If he's being a douche and he's not texting you back, he's probably not worth the time of your day. All right, so you just, you just got to try different fishes until like you like get the one you really like the most. God, you're supposed to throw it far, right? You're supposed to let it reel it, reel it out far, you know? Like try to catch a multiple number of fish. And you're back out next weekend finding, trying to find a new fish, trying to find a, catch a new fish. Um, like there's a lot of different types of fish, honestly. Like, you, I mean, it depend, depends on what, you, what type of fish you want. Like, I, like, you know, like I'm personally like a, like a, like a quiet, weird, social, but yet studious kind of girl. So I would characterize that fish like a tuna, all right? You know, I kind of want that tuna, all right? Um, something, some of you guys want, want sorority girls. That could be like a salmon or like something like that, all right? You know, maybe the salmon isn't for you, so you try a tuna. Maybe you, maybe, maybe you like a really smart girl, so you, so you get like a, uh, like a little, like a little goldfish, all right? You may, maybe you want a goldfish. No, I'm not the little boy that I used to be. I'm all grown up now. Baby, can't you see? Stacy's mom has got it going on. She's all I wanted. I've waited. My first impression was that a beautiful girl that went to Northwestern was well-rounded and someone that, you know, possibly I could see myself marrying. Like we've been kind of like together for about two years now, and um, like it sounds pretty insane, but I proposed to her um, Saturday night, so a few days ago, and. Um, decided to like take the jump and it's like totally crazy and very strange for like uh, someone in Northwestern to do that but it, it was important to me and something I really wanted to do and that's where we're at and that has like it's, it was after a long time of dating like two years of dating and like hanging out and being with each other in like many different types of situations and mm -hmm. she was the one for me. I would say that I came here with optimism that I'd find my wife but as the years have gone on I'm just not sure that this is the place I will find someone who's, you know, personally and career oriented wise, like similar to what I want. That, yes, we are focused on our, our careers and, and doing good that we don't make the time for others or for even our um, girlfriend or boyfriend to go on a date. And so I think you have to take that time out that it's a, it's a worthy cause. I think the keg is detrimental to the dating culture. Um, the dance floor allows for Tons of random hookups. And the keg was really fun because it was sort of like, you'll dance, you'll make out, you'll, you know, be seductive on the pole and like, <laughs> whatever. And like, the next morning they wake up, who did I make out with last night yeah. is usually the first question they ask themselves. I think so. it's like part of it could be because classes are so hard that when people aren't going out, they're so focused on their work. And then when they do go out, they just get drunk. And like he said, they just make out and they don't really formulate a good relationship. They just you know, do what they drunkenly want to do, and then the next day they forget about it. I would say, guys, man up. Like, girls want you to ask them out and want to be pursued. And so if it's a laziness thing, get off your ass. And if it's a confidence thing, like, if you don't have it, fake it. Like, girls <laughs> want to be asked out. Girls want to be taken on dates. Girls want to be texted and called. And as needy as that sounds, like, it makes them like you more. And I am completely willing to date a girl just if I find her find the right one that has all these qualities that I want. And Maybe I they're personally trying. haven't found that person. I don't know what these girls are, you know, what their situation is, but it could be that they're just, they want the relationship too soon. Like exactly, the guy, yeah, they're, maybe they're pushing for it too it, hard. They're pushing too hard. This generation is like, how you meet guys is hooking up when you're drunk, I feel like. Capture my heart, not drunk to the light. Capture my heart, and spit out a sign. Capture my heart, Open my eyes, capture my heart, and addiction sky. It's taking a bite.